So first we're going to create a Windows USB key. So we're going to type in Windows 11, download Windows 11 here. We're going to go down to download disk ISO. We're going to choose Windows 11 multi edition, download now. And we're going to choose the product language, which is English for me. And then we can click on 64 bit download here and wait for this to download. Next, we're going to go ahead and download Rufus. Create bootable USB. We're going to go down here to Rufus 4.2.exe, download that. And now we're going to click on the folder icon here, or you can go to File Explorer here, and basically it will open a new window. And then we can go to Downloads and then Rufus. We'll run Rufus, and here is our ISO we downloaded. So what we're going to do is we need to plug in a 32 gig or less flash drive. I would recommend between eight and 32 gigs, which is ideal for operating systems. So I have just plugged in my 32 gig flash drive. We'll click on that. And then we're gonna choose the ISO image right here, select. We'll go to downloads and you can see it's right here, Win 11 22H2, open. So we wanna make sure this is UEFI if we're installing it on a newer computer. If not, you'd wanna choose legacy, which isn't even an option unless you do master boot record. So uh, this is legacy here, BIOS. If it's a newer computer and it's from like the last five to seven years, then I would definitely go with UEFI. And then we don't have to worry about the volume label here and then we'll leave it NTFS and then we'll click start. It's gonna ask us if we wanna remove the TPM requirements and you know the specific requirements for Windows 11 to run. We'll go ahead and leave these checked and then we're also gonna remove the requirement for a Microsoft account that is needed usually when you uh, install Windows 11. So that means that we can just log in with the basic local account instead if we leave this checked and then we can disable data collection, which is great. So we'll click okay on that and we'll click okay to destroy the data on the volume and reformat it. All right, now it is safe to close out of the program as long as it says ready here and it has a full green bar, we can close out. Now what we need to do is go to this PC here. We need to find our drive, which is right here, and then we need to properly eject it. So we'll do that right now. So now you need to pull your flash drive out of the computer, plug it into one of the USB ports. So now we can power on the computer and we're gonna to wanna to press delete on the keyboard. And that is for my particular computer, delete is the key to get into the menu for the BIOS. So on other computers, it might be escape, delete, F7, F2, possibly F8, F12, try those if you don't know what it is. And then here we need to go to boot. We need to change our boot priority. So what we're gonna do is boot option one is gonna be the very top priority. And then below that is in order. So number two would be second priority, number three, third priority, etc. So we're gonna choose basically USB device. We wanna choose our Windows device here. And then when we wanna choose, basically, we wanna do NVMe, and then that should be good. And right now the NVMe has Ubuntu on it. We're gonna be wiping that with Windows. So then all we gotta do is go to save and exit and then click enter on save changes and exit and we're going to do yes all right we're going to do english united states next install now we don't have a product key we'll activate it later but not in this video we're going to do windows 11 pro we're going to accept the terms and conditions we're going to do custom install windows only so now we have our drives here. So this is our NVMe drive that's 931 gigs. What we're gonna have to do is just delete all these partitions because I don't want them. So we're gonna erase the storage on the SSD, the SATA SSD that we added in an earlier video. So we're gonna just go ahead and delete all these partitions here. Now you gotta be careful if you have data on another drive on your computer, you gotta be really careful not to delete the wrong partition because you could lose a lot of data. So that is on you if something bad were to happen. And then we're going to delete this partition here. So here is our NVMe and then here is our SATA SSD. The NVMe is faster, so we're going to choose that next. Let's click restart now and then we can unplug the flash drive from the computer. We're gonna do United States, yes. US, keyboard layout, skip. All right, so we're gonna name our device. I'm gonna call it Freedom PC. So I love Freedom. 
we're going to set up for personal use. All right, and then we're going to skip all of these. These are just add-on bloatware and spyware for the most part. So we don't want any of that. And we're going to skip for Android devices here. We do not want Office here. We're going to decline both of those. We're going to skip for now with Game Pass. All right, time to get to the desktop here. All right. We're on the desktop now, so that is how we install Windows 11 on a modern computer. I installed this on my B-Link uh, Mini S12, basically, and yeah, it's running good so far, but that is it for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed and found it informative and entertaining and helpful. Consider leaving a like or a dislike and subscribing down below and leaving a comment as well. Until then, see you guys later. Bye for now.